Hello everyone. So today we will discuss lesson three, roles of technology for teaching and learning. So these are the following lesson outcomes. First, identify the roles of technology in teaching and learning. And second, appreciate the value of technology in supporting student learning. As teaching and learning go together, let us explore what would be the roles of technology for teachers and teaching and for learners and learning. So according to Stosik in 2015, we have three domains for educational technology. So let's find out these three. Okay, the first domain is about technology as a tutor. Together with the teacher, technology can support the teacher to teach another person or technology when programmed by the teacher can be a tutor on its own. So as we know these days, we have a lot of um, innovations and programs that teachers can use to support his or her teaching. And in that case, the technology itself can act as a tutor. So the teacher will simply switch on or switch off radio programs or television programs, play DVDs, CDs that contain educational programs. And there are online tutorial and educational programs too. So in the past, if you can still remember in your previous years, so or in your younger years, you have um, you get accustomed to watching television programs in the classrooms or DVDs or CDs that are related to your lesson. So in that case, um, the technology there acts as a tutor. And these days, we, on, we also have some new programs that we can use online, wherein um, some tutorial sessions or some lessons are also conducted via online. So that is um, how I, how technology can act as a tutor. The second one, technology as a teaching tool. Like a tutor, technology is a teaching tool, but it can never replace a teacher. So we have to remember this all the time. Like any other tool, it is being used to facilitate and lighten the work of the teacher. So teachers can also use technology to make his or her work easier and to better describe the lesson to the students. So for example, using PowerPoint presentations, uh, projectors, okay, in, yeah, as a tool to explain the lesson easier. And it will, be a, it will be good if the teacher can also create or develop technology tools that are needed in the classroom. So if the teacher is very creative and can come up with other technology tools that can help to, um, yeah, that can be help or that can be of help to his or her students, so that would be really good. So yes, that is technology as a teaching tool. The third one is technology as a learning tool. So while the teacher utilizes technology as the tool for teaching, likewise, it is also an effective tool for learning. And as a learning tool, it makes learning easy and effective. It can produce learning outcomes that call for technology-assisted teaching. Even the teachers who are teaching can utilize similar tools for learning. As a learning tool, it is very interesting that even the elderly use these tools for learning for life. So in this case, yeah, technology can also serve as a learning tool for our students. If we can just um, select the um, appropriate technology for the lesson, then it will be very effective and easy for the students to understand um, the lesson or to understand the subject matter. So for example, um, by using different applications for their for activities and also, yeah, for in that case, um, it's fun for the students to play the activities and at the same time they are learning. Yeah, so that's why it can be used as a learning tool. And these days, we, for example, we have the YouTube channel. So we can always stream for videos on YouTube about different tutorials that we want to learn. So in this case, we are in an online setup. So students can also check different sources online 
or different um, yeah, applications online that can help them in their studies as well. So that is technology as a learning tool. Right, so that's it for the first part. Let me know if you have questions. See you in the next video.